Greetings everyone! TDA2050 is probably the most popular class ABIC out there, but it was discontinued way back 2013 by ST Microelectronics. Now TDA2050s are still available online, but they're 100% fake. And in this video, you'll see all the differences between these two ICs, starting by the package differences. So the first thing I noticed is the legs of the original IC are thicker than the fake one. And the prints on the original IC is more visible as well. Next is the semicircle on the fake one is on the middle while it is lower on the original one which was provided on the datasheet. And here's the backplate comparison. Now let's take a look at their internals and this is the fake one and this is the original one and as you can see the original one has a bigger silicon inside now I'm using a bad camera but I hope you can see these little details between these two chips So now let's proceed with the sound quality and I made a driver for it to be breadboard compatible and they need heatsink as well since these chips heats up a lot. For the sound quality, both chips sound the same. So let's proceed with the power test with 4 ohms as a dummy load. So starting with the most common supply used in home theater system which is dual 12 volts AC or around 16 volts DC. So let's start with the fake one. There's clipping. And I got 7.95 volts RMS squared divided by 4 ohms load and we have 15.8 watts RMS. Now with the original chip, there's clipping. So I got 9.04 volts RMS squared divided by 4 ohms load and we've got 20.4 RMS with the original chip. Now let's try with plus minus 20 volts DC starting with the fake one. So I got 9.58 volts RMS squared divided by 4 ohms load and I've got 22.94 RMS. Lastly, the original IC with plus minus 20 volts DC. There's clipping. So I got 11.58 volts RMS squared divided by 4 ohms load and we've got 33.52 watts RMS with the original chip. And here are the values I got with the power test. And now we'll proceed with the short circuit protection starting with the original chip. So I placed this resistor in series to reduce the volume of the speaker as I set the input to the maximum volume. So the original chip can take it easily. Now let's try the fake one.
and yeah this shows how bad these fake chips are would i recommend it well they'll work just fine especially that they sound the same with the original one but don't expect them to last longer especially with low load impedance bad thing is when you accidentally short its output and you'll get something like this and this chip sounds really good but you can't buy brand new and original ones nowadays so if you want a replacement i recommend to go with ones that has their own brand like the UTC2050 from Taiwan of Unisonic or the D2050 from China. So avoid these cheaper versions. LM1875 is the best option but it has a lot of imitations nowadays. So that will be all. Feel free to ask questions in the comments. Give it a like and we'll do something else for the next one.